a variety of ways to be saved. One way, one standard, one law to govern everybody. That's right. Are you listening? The tree grew. The tree grew. And was strong. Requit well, was strong. And the height thereof reached unto heaven. Re and, reached the heaven. And the sight thereof to the end of all the earth. Yes. The leaves thereof were fair. Yes. And the fruit thereof much. Yes. And in it was meat for all. Meat for everybody. The beasts of the field had shadow under it. Uh -huh. And the fowls of the heaven dwelt in the bows thereof. That means how many people lived in the kingdom of Babylon. Mm. Now, you can trace Babylon all the way back to Genesis. But it wasn't called Babylon. No. During the days of Nimrod, the place was called Baal. That's the origins of Babylon. That's right. When they was trying to build a tower to reach heaven. Reach heaven. And God Almighty confused their language. And that's why nobody can keep building because God stopped them. Right. God have a way of stopping when stopping you when you cease to recognize him. Right. See, I don't ever want God to stop the truth of God. That's why I will always put God in the forefront and leave him there. That's right. I won't even let nobody testify. Uh, if it wasn't for Pastor Jennings, I don't know where I'd be. Man, I'd jump on you like white on rice. That's right. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't put, you ain't giving that type of credit to me. No. Because if it wasn't from the God of heaven, I don't know where I would be. That's right. Amen. All right, son. And the fowls of the heaven dwelt in the bows thereof. Yeah. And all flesh was fed of it. Uh -huh. I saw in the visions of my head upon my bed, and behold, a watcher and a an holy one came down from heaven. You always have heaven watching you. Oh, yeah. Even if people don't see you, hear me good. You bear in mind, the scripture says, the eyes of the Lord, oh, Lord. run to and fro into all earth. That's right. Who going to get away from him? That's right. The Bible said, if I go into heaven, thou art there. Thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and fly through the uttermost parts of the earth, thou art there. Thou art there. So wherever we are, God Almighty is there. Nobody can hide from him. No. And this is what, by the grace of God, we're laboring to pound in the head of everybody. You can ignore this message now, cuss me out, get mad, say everything you want. Hmm. Not one soul will ever get away from what God said out of his word. That's right. Not one. Not one. Come on, son. I saw in the visions of my head upon my bed. Yes. And behold, a watcher. A watcher. And an holy one come down from heaven. No, holy three. And holy one. Just one. And holy one come, come on, down son. from heaven. Yes. He cried aloud. He cried aloud. And said thus, you down the tree. Hew down the tree. And cut off his branches. Cut him down. Shake off his cut leaves. Cut off his branches. Shake off his Rid leaves. Rid him of what he accumulated. Shake off his leaves. And that way his prosperity come to a halt. That's right. Uh -huh. And scatter his fruit. America! That's what God going to do to you. Hallelujah. You brag about the so-called founding fathers, how they was God-fearing. But America have turned their back on God. You know, isn't it hypocritical? How they wanted, they took prayer out to schools, but they got a chaplain for the military. That's right. Isn't it hypocritical how so many courthouses would get rid of the Ten Commandments off federal buildings, but yet take a Bible and try to swear everybody in before they testify? That's right. Isn't it hypocritical how they say we separate church and state, but yet the state or the federal government print the money, the currency of America, and you have on there, in God we trust. That's right. You old hypocrite. Amen. The scripture says you can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. Either you're going to be on God's side or the devil's side. That's right. 
Are you listening? You down the tree. Cut it down. And cut off his branches. Cut off the branches. Shake off his leaves. Shake off the leaves. And scatter his fruit. Scatter his fruit. Let the beast get away from under it. Let the beast get away from under it. And the fowls from his branches. The fowl from his branches. Nevertheless, leave Nevertheless, the stump of his leave roots the in stump. the earth. I'm going to give them a chance to recuperate. I'm going to give them a chance to flourish again. I'm going to give them a chance to get back on his feet. But I got to teach him a lesson. And many times God have to teach. I, I don't use the word God is trying to get your attention. That's an insult to God. That's right. Think of it. He made the heavens and the earth by his power. And all of a sudden you so difficult he got to try to do something. Amen. Think of how it sounds. You're that deep. You're that wise. You're that intelligent. You can maneuver that much. He got to try to do something to you. Man, God can do whatever he wants to you, wherever he wants to do it. That's right. Woman, That's right. you're not that cute. No. I don't care you have so many curves, the 70 east or 70 west. <laughs> when God get a hold of you, he'll trim your hips down. Yes, he will. And he'll make you acknowledge that only one rule in the kingdom of men. That's right. Man, you don't look that good. No. That God Almighty can't make you bow to him Hallelujah. any way he wants, regardless of what you think you have in this life. That's right. Are you listening? Nevertheless, leave the stump of his Nevertheless, roots. Nevertheless, leave the stump. Of his roots in the earth. Leave the stumps. Leave Glory the stump. to God of the, of the roots in the earth. Even with a band of iron and brass. Yes. In the tender Constrain them. That's right. I'm going to leave the roots. But what, is that, what else is he going to have? Even with a band, with of, a iron band and brass. of iron and brass. I'm going to constrain him. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have him bound while he's out there. Amen. Uh -huh. In the tender grass of the field. Yes. And let it be wet with the dew of let heaven. Let it be wet with the dew of heaven. And let his portion be with the beasts in the grass of the earth. Now think of it. A king live well. Oh, yeah. A king eat well. He have everything at his fingertips. Amen. But when God Almighty moved you from being a king and make you live like an animal. That's right. That's a big change in your lifestyle. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. America brag of being a superpower. You dumb, ignorant, <laughs> hell-bound thing. <laughs> there is no powers that be but that which is ordained of God. That's right. Amen. Russia brag about being a superpower. You hear this, Putin, Putin? <laughs> To God, you're nothing but a bowl of pudding. That's right. Every country in the world, whether you have a president, a queen, a king, or dictator. That's right. There's only one rule of the universe. That's right. And everybody, everybody. got the answer to him. That's right. Everybody. everybody. I don't care how great you think you are when he snatched the breath out of your body. Oh, yes. And you dumped in nothing but a pine box. That's right. It doesn't matter how much money your casket costs. No. You are nothing but a worm in a box. That's it. Waiting for the creator of heaven and earth to call you before him and judgment. That's right. I want you to understand this. Millionaires, wealthy folk, you know what you and poor folk have in common? Hmm. The Bible says it this way. How do the wise man die? As like the, the fool. fool. As the fool. It doesn't matter how much money you got. I'm the type of man that ain't impressed with nobody wealth. I know wealthy people by the number. Yeah. I don't care what you got. That's right. Get all this furniture in your house. Louis the 15th and Louis the 17th and Louis the 20th and you got it and you're too dumb to sit in it. That's right. Listen, if it was good enough for Louis, it's good enough for you. That's right. Hey man, I knew uh, millionaires associates who invited me to their house and I was going to say, oh no, 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 Reverend Jennings, don't sit there. Oh, whoa, 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 what's going on, man? I'm thinking something <laughs> happened. We have a son. This is a, a, a very antique piece and uh, it's, 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 a, it's very fragile and right. it costs so many, many dollars and it just sit there to dust off. That's right. 
Some people do their furniture that way, and they're not even rich. Certain dishes, they serve their guests, and guests only, and they won't eat out of it. That's right. Save your crystal <laughs> for your uh, second wife in laws. <laughs> certain spoons and certain forks you use, you dumb, ignorant, dumb. arrogant, high-minded fool you. That's right. If my fork is good enough for them, and it ain't going to be good enough for me, Amen. a china closet, that's all right. But I'm going to eat and drink out that china. That's right. Huh? And most of it probably ain't come from China, made in Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm telling you? Amen. Who you saving it for? Yeah. You mean to tell me you're going to spend money for dishes in place you think it's too good for you to use? That's Are right. you that ignorant? <laughs> what piece of clothing you have that costs too much to glorify God in? Amen. People ask me, why you don't preach in robes? For what? <laughs> you mean to tell me my suit is good enough to take care of business? But it ain't good enough to preach in? Right. I wouldn't be so vain. No. That's why when I got married, <laughs> I ain't written no tux. No, you didn't. Same suit I preached in a few weeks ago, got it clean. <laughs> and that's what I got married in. That's right. And then that evening, I preached in the same suit. That's right. There were just too many people there. I just couldn't let them get away right like that just to see me get married and exchange vows and eat up all the food and you go home and sleep. No. Oh, no. We're going to make sure that food digests good. That's right. Are you listening? <laughs> Come on, son. What did he say? And let his portion be with the beasts in the grass. Understand the this, people. All you have is the breath in your nostrils. That's it. When you think you're something when you are nothing, the book says you deceive yourself. Look at it. Have you ever seen the bubble form of water? What keeps that bubble afloat is air. The moment the air go, the bubble pop. What keeps you living is your breath. That's it. No not matter how beautiful you think you are, how loving you are. How much money you have. The only thing that got you functioning is heaven. heaven. When your lease is up. When your lease expires on your temple. Oh, yes. You die no matter where you are. Right. In bed. On a toilet. <laughs> in the shower. That's right. On the construction site. Working the crane. When God say time to go. That's right. You're dead. That's right. When the world remember, your body is not designed to be here forever and ever. That's why the Bible says, behold, right. I show you a mystery that we shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. changed. In a moment, hallelujah, glory. In the twinkling of an eye. In the twinkling of an eye. At the last. So a time will come that you will be changed. Everything in this life. Oh, yes. You can't take it with you. Not one thing. Not one thing. You can't take it with you until you can't even take the body you have with you. That's right. God is going to change you from mortal to immortality, from terrestrial to celestial, because this corruptible body is not good enough to reign with him. No. Your materialism is not good enough to go to the grave with you. No. Are you listening? Let his heart be changed. Amen. Listen at this. Back in Daniel chapter 4, now at verse 16. Says what? Let his heart be changed. Let from his heart man, be changed. From man. From man. And let a beast's heart be given unto oh, him. Oh, look how God does Nebuchadnezzar. Mm. Change his heart. From man. From man. And let a beast's heart. But give him a beast's heart. Be given unto him. There's many people got a beast's heart now. That's why they fight the word of God so bitterly. Oh, yes. Paul said, I fought with beasts at Ephesus after the manner of men. That's right. Only a heart of a beast would make that man rape his daughter. That's right. Only the heart of a beast 
will make that brother sodomize his other brother. Amen. Only the heart of a beast will make that bishop manipulate that girl with money and then get her pregnant and then push her aside. And won't take care of his own babies. That's right. Only the heart of a beast will make a man get up in the pulpit and willingly, voluntarily lie to his congregation and lead them all to hell. Oh, with yes. no conscience and no fear. Only the heart of a beast. Heart of a beast. Viewers that are watching, you got a beast heart? Mm. Why are you so mean? That's right. What type of man are you to carjack a family? And hold a man's wife at gunpoint and you 15. That's right. So he can look at you, rape his wife. You got the heart of a beast. Oh, yes. What type of girl is you who want to be outside and party and get drunk Friday night into Saturday morning? Yeah. Until you pass out drunk and a bunch of other beasts run a train on you. That's right. What kind of person are you? Who will run a train on her? And what kind of woman are you that will hang out all night half naked with no God and no fear, no decency, and no self-respect and prove that this world got the heart of a beast? Ask them. You know what they'll tell you? What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Ain't nothing wrong with the way I'm living. That's right. A little, your little son wants to be a girl. Well, I'm open. Open to what? <laughs> That's right. Let my little boy make his decision. God all right. He already all made right. it. Amen. He made him a boy. That's God's decision. That's God's decision. If he wanted you to pump out a girl from your womb, that's what he would have made in there. That's right. So this is the attitude of society to each his own. Nothing matter. God's way is irrelevant. Why are you trying to push your religion on me? That's right. You see, I'm not trying to push God on nobody. No. I'm just going to preach Jesus and him crucified and let you decide what you want to do. That's right. Someone said, well, I would accept what you said if you sound nicer. Well, if you in a burning building. Amen. And that building is on fire. And the fireman goes as far as cussing you out. Hurry up and get out of there. Are you going to be that dumb to tell him, you got to say it nicer than that or I'm not moving? <laughs> uh, you, please tell me nice or I'm not, I'm not going to move. <laughs> there is no fireman that see people in a in burning building say, look at here. Uh, your, your building is on fire, and I, you know, respectfully suggest that you kind of come down this fire escape and jump out the window. We have a net here that can catch you if you like. If you like. <laughs> Not at all. No, no. You spoiled religious brats. That's right. You've been spoiled by this weak, watered-down, hypocritical virgin of church. Yeah. And it made you weak mentally and emotionally and spiritually. And then we come and stand to your face and tell you what you are and what you are not. He's mean. He's mean. He ain't nice. Man, I ain't sent to be your buddy. That's right. And I sure ain't trying to be your friend. You either accept what God say or go to hell. That's it. That's your alternative. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. The world, Hallelujah. God is getting ready to cut country after country after country down. Amen. He's giving you a chance Hallelujah. while you live. Hallelujah. Obey him. Hallelujah. That's Glory it. to God. That's it. Obey him. That's right. He's giving the world Hallelujah. a chance. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Come on, son. What did he say? Let his heart be changed Glory from man. Glory to God. Let his heart be changed from man, from man, and let a beast's heart be given unto him. Look at the God the strip. Amen. Only the heart of a beast, beast. will kill innocent babies, oh, yeah. girls, and boys, That's right. and women. Only the heart of a beast will tell you flee from the north side of a country 
and go to the south side and then you kill them when they get to the south side. That's right. Only the heart of a beast would drop tear gas and all type of chemical warfare on people so their flesh can be eaten alive. Only the heart of a beast would do experiments on the citizens of their own country. That's right. Only the heart of a beast That's will right. forget the poor and just cater to the rich. That's right. Only the heart, hallelujah, of a beast. Of a beast. Are you listening? Amen. Come on, Zion. Let his heart be changed from man. Let his heart be changed from man. From man. And let a beast heart be and given unto him. let a beast him. heart be unto him. And let seven times pass over him. Real quick. This matter is by the decree of the watchers. Yes. And the demand by the word of the Holy One. Yes. To the intent that the living may know. Listen. This is done that the intent may know that the most high that the most high rule in the kingdom of men. That's why we preach the way we do. That's right. By God's permission That's that right. the world may know that the most high that the most high rule is in the kingdom of men. He rule. You walk around to brag you something. You ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. In fact, the Bible said you're less than nothing. Less than nothing. And I can't put you no lower than that. No. God said you're less than nothing. That's right. All right, son. That the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. Yes. And giveth it. And giveth to it. To whomsoever he will. Do you know God can take America and give it to whoever he wants? That's true. To whoever he wants. He will. He can give any country in the hands of whoever he please. That's right. Come on, son. That the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. Yes. And giveth it to whomsoever he will. Yes. And setteth up over it the basis of men. Come on, son. This dream I, King Nebuchadnezzar, Wait a minute. have seen. He can set over it the, the basis, base of men. The basis of men. That means that God can give the kingdom to the lowest man living. That's true. The basis of men. Basis the of lowest men. of men. That's right. That's why the Bible said he chose the foolish things of this world to confound the wise and chose the weak things of this world to confound them that are mighty. That's right. You know, God work opposite from the way man think it should be done. Yeah. Come on, son. This dream I, King Nebuchadnezzar, have seen. Yes. Now thou, O Belteshazzar. Belteshazzar. Declare the interpretation thereof. Tell me what it is. For as much as all the wise men of my kingdom are not able to make known unto me the interpretation. Yes. But thou art able. You're able. For the spirit of the Holy God oh, is in you. the spirit of the Holy God is in you. Then Daniel, whose name was Belteshazzar, was astonished for one hour. Hold it. That lets you know not all the time that a man of God may have the answer right away. That's right. So when a preacher tell you, well, if you're a man of God, he'll know something right away. That's not true. No. After the king told Daniel, what happened? How long was he stuck? Was astonished for one hour. I'd rather be stuck for one hour than let the spirit give me the right thing to say. They'd be quickly to say something, and it's a lie just to prove to you like I know something. That's right. Let me be stuck, stand still. And see the salvation of God, then tell you the truth after that. That's right. Huh? Then Daniel, whose name was Belteshazzar, All right. was astonished for one hour. Yeah. And his thoughts troubled him. Yes. The king spake and said, Belteshazzar, let not the dream, Don't let the dream or the interpretation you. thereof trouble thee. Yes. Belteshazzar answered and said, My lord, the dream be to them that hate thee. Yes. And the interpretation thereof to thy enemies. Yes. The tree that thou sawest, which grew and was strong, what is it? whose height reached unto the heaven, uh -huh. and the sight thereof to all the earth. Yes. Whose the were fair and the fruit thereof much. Yes. And in it was meat for all under which the beasts of the field dwell. Yes. And upon whose the branches of the fowls of the heaven had their habitation. Yes. It is thou, O king. What? It is thou, O king. You don't, listen, you don't read when Daniel was prophesying or opening up the prophecy. He was jumping around. <laughs> no. Trying to excite the king. No. Like these so-called modern hypocrite church prophets now. <laughs> you can see him. Some of you have him in the church you used to go to or still go to. Somebody jump up and claim they're prophets and they're so dramatic. Ugh. 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 Like he's in trying to do aerobics. Man, if God wants you to talk, he's going to get your mouth open. That's it. All that twisting and turning and shaking, baking like you James Brown nephew. That ain't going to tell me nothing. That's right. Just tell me what God want me to know. That's it. All right, son. It is thou, O king, that art grown It is thou, O king, that art thou has grown and become strong. And become strong. And thy greatness is grown. I want this to be a lesson 
to every man or woman in the world that have grown strong and prosperous. For thy goodness. And every nation. That's right. That grew strong and prosperous. Get this. It is thou, O king, that art grown and It is thou, O king, that have got grown and strong. For thy greatness is grown. Your greatness is grown. And reacheth unto heaven. Reach to heaven. And thy dominion to the end of the earth. Yes. And whereas the king saw a watcher. What? And an holy one coming down from heaven. Mm -hmm. And saying, you the tree down and destroy it. Cut it down, destroy it. Yet leave the stuff of the roots thereof in the earth. Yes. Even with the band of iron and brass in the tender grass of the field. What happened? And let it be wet with the dew let of heaven. Let it be wet with the dew of and heaven. And let its portion be with the beasts of the field till seven times pass over him. Yeah. This is the interpretation, O king. What is it? And this is the decree of the Most High. Yeah. Which has come upon my Lord the you king. You know when God says something, it'll come to pass. When God said. That's it. When God Not said. when people say it. That's right. You see, I, I, I maybe don't know the difference. I compare it with the scripture. Yeah. Amen. I have many enemies on social media. I mean a lot of them. <laughs> Amen. Some always got prophecies against Pastor Jennings and the church. Right. Pastor Jennings is going to do this. Pastor Jennings is going to turn <laughs> to a frog. Pastor Jennings, he's going to die. Pastor Jennings, uh, the church going to burn down. Pastor, one false prophet said that the Lord showed him I was in a white limousine Cadillac with about eight, to seven to eight or nine fags. <laughs> my Lord, my Lord. The Lord ain't show him that no more than I'm Ronald McDonald himself. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Then he said the Lord told him that the, when, I, if I, when, I, when I die, that the whole church is going to fall in the hands of gay preachers. You liar. Glory <laughs> 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 to God. Amen. You get what I'm telling you. Now understand this. Amen. When God say yes, it doesn't matter who say no. That's it. That's right. When God say no, it doesn't matter who say yes. That's right. The Bible said what the Lord has made crooked, no, no man. man can make straight. That's right. When God do a thing, it ain't nothing you can do about it. No. I call it hate prophecy. Not holy prophecy from heaven. Hate prophecy. That's right. Man, God ain't going to have me dreaming about some man every day and every night. No. I wake up thinking about Williams. I go to bed thinking about Williams. I can't even lay in my wife, Williams. My Lord. Can't go to the bathroom, Williams. Lord. I can't eat my grits, Williams. That's too much, Williams. <laughs> Are you listening? Much. That's right. Glory to God. <laughs> Is everybody all right? Come on, son. This Let's is, have it. This is the interpretation, O king. This is what it is. And this is the decree of the Most High, which has come upon my Lord the King. Yes. That they may drive thee from men. Uh -huh. And thy dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field. Shall be with the beasts of the field. And they shall make thee eat to eat grass as oxen. Can you imagine that? Imagine that. I think of that uh, false prophet who dead, who's dead now in that Christless grave. Pierce Carlton, I think it was. Mm -hmm. So-called Pentecostal preacher, Carlton Pearson. Carlton Pearson. I said it backward <laughs> because he went backward. <laughs> He's changed altogether. I mean, he wasn't sent of God to begin with, mm. but then he really changed and denounced hell. He said, hell don't exist. He said, I was brainwashed to believe that years ago. But God gave me a better revelation. There is no hell. Now, can you imagine? There is no punishment whatsoever for your consequences. No punishment. Well, don't say he lost, Pastor Janice. Anytime you lie on God or you save or you lost, yeah. there is no middle. No. There is no in between. And the problem with so-called church people, when you tell it like that, they say he's being judgmental. He's being judgmental. Man, you call a spade a spade. That's right. Either you're right or you're wrong. That's right. That's all. That's all. Listen, if there's no hell, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me good. If there's no eternal punishment, Pastor Jennings, this is the last <laughs> message for today. For today. I'm going to find a place. In, I'm not even coming back this afternoon. 
If there's no help, I'm not coming back this afternoon. I'm going to find a club or some place that opened early. And when I go in the door, I'm going to come in sideways. <laughs> yes, I am. That's right. You know why? I ain't going to hell. I'm going to hell. No hell? No hell. No consequences? Lord. No punishment? My Lord. Man, I may resort to doing things I ain't never done. That's right. Ask somebody, what's this like? Well, Pastor Jennings, you got to try it. Okay, let's get busy. No punishment. No punishment. No punishment. Anytime there's a natural prison where you pay for your wrong. Yeah. If man will set up prison institution yeah. to charge you for your wrong, why are people so dumb? To think the righteous judge who is more righteous than all judges will let you get away no from your crime. That's right. There ain't no judge on earth more fairer than God. That's right. There's no judge on earth that will give man more chances it's than God. God. That's right. Why you think that many of you have been shot so many times, you're still living. Yeah. You done od you're still living. Oh, yeah. You done drank yourself almost to death in a car crash, still living. Still living. Been raped and almost bled out, still living. Right. Got high, didn't even know your birthday, still living. Oh, yeah. Because God said he know them that are his. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Right. Are you listening? That's right. God was watching over you Hallelujah. when you didn't know him. Yeah. Didn't know his name. That's right. Didn't know how to call on him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take yeah. But God was watching over you. That's right. Having mercy on you. He knew one day you would repent of your sins yeah. and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ right. and seek him for the Holy Ghost. That's right. God saw you pray. When you couldn't see yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God saw you fasting when you couldn't see yourself. Hallelujah. God saw you serving him. Thank God when you couldn't see yourself. That's right. There's not a judge in the world more righteous, more righteous. and more fair yeah. than God himself. That's right. Well, who wouldn't serve a God like that? Hallelujah. Are you listening? Hallelujah. Come on, son. What did he say? And they shall make thee to eat grass as they oxen. They shall make you to eat grass like an ox. And they shall be wet with thee with the dew of heaven. Be quick. And seven times shall pass over thee. Yes. Till thou know that the most high ruleth. Now, a lot of times God had to make things happen. Oh, yes. Not try to make it. Make it happen. That's right. That we may come unto the knowledge that what? Till thou know that the most high ruleth. There's only one boss. In the kingdom of men. You're not the boss. No. I don't care how many men compliment you, how many women compliment you. Man, you're not the boss. Not the boss. Hey, man, you got your dress now that you saved it and got it all tailored and fixed up. That's all right. That's right. And then the only time you wear it is at your funeral. That's right. I know of a case like that. I remember years ago when I was younger, there was a fella uh, who was a so-called preacher. He was a very good brother, but he was just led wrong. I remember they had a church anniversary. I was young. That was before. I was playing the organ then. Someone said, why don't you play now? Well, I get joy out of looking at the younger brothers. But they gave him a three-piece bone suit. Brown patent leather shoes to match, brown socks, a white shirt, and a brown and bone tie for a anniversary gift. Mm. Only time he got a chance to wear it was in his casket. My Lord. I witnessed that with my own eyes. My Lord. He ended up dying from cancer, young. They gave him that cl them clothing for a gift. And the first time and the only time he wore it was in a casket. Lord. I'm telling you, people, the ruler of life and death is Christ himself. That's right. Until he declared, oh, I'm the resurrection. I'm the resurrection. 
Ain't nobody on this earth going to get away from one thing Jesus taught and he gave his apostles. You can ignore it. You can uh, criticize it and downplay it. But man, only one rule in the kingdom of men. Till thou know. Till you know. That the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. Yes. And giveth it to whomsoever he will. Yeah, give it to whomever he wants. And whereas. Whoever it, God want to make a preacher out of. That's right. He going to make a preacher out of. But he won't be made that contradict the Bible. No. Come on, son. And whereas they commanded to leave the stump of the tree roots. What is it? Thy kingdom shall be sure unto thee. Your kingdom shall be sure unto thee. You will get it back. After that, thou shalt have known. That After the heavens, that, you will have known. That the heavens do rule. That the heavens. That's, do, that's what we live in to tell the folks. That's right. The heavens. That the heavens do rule. Do rule. Wherefore, O king, let my counsel be acceptable unto thee. Now, human family, you that are here in Indiana, you that are watching, let our counsel be acceptable unto you. And break what off What we the, advising you to do is this. Let my counsel be acceptable unto thee. And what? And break off break thy off. sin. Your sin by righteousness. America and the world break off. Break sins. off your sins by doing right. By righteousness. Stop your gang banging. Hallelujah. Stop your murdering. Stop your pool party. Stop your card game. Stop being the lesbian. Stop being the dyke. Stop being a Republican. Stop being a Democrat. Stop going Hallelujah. to your man-made religion. Break Stop off all of this foolishness. Break it off. Break off thy sins by righteousness. Break it off. That's it. Hallelujah. Stop living together, not married. Break it off. That's it. If Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Break it off. Break it off. Break it up. That's it. What did it say? Break off thy sins. Break off. Thy sins. Glory to God, break off. The preachers won't preach this. No, no. Yet it's in their Bible. Why don't they preach it? Why don't they because preach they it? don't see nothing wrong with being a sinner. And break off thy sins. The world. Hallelujah. Glory to God, you gotta break off your sins. By righteousness. Which sins, Pastor Jennings? All of it. That's right. All unrighteousness is sin. That's right. Break it off. Break off thy sins. By doing what? By righteousness. Hallelujah. By righteousness. By righteousness. Uh -huh. And thy Break anointing. off bowling head and Hallelujah. raise your hands and tell him that lie. I'm accept Christ as my personal savior. Break off. Break off. Break it off of being sprinkled for baptism. Break off claiming you got the Holy Ghost and you ain't never speak in tongues. That's it. And break off break all off. these man-made religions that ain't never Hallelujah. been in the Bible. Baptist and Methodist Hallelujah. and Presbyterian, Scientology and Christian science and so-called Pentecostal and all this damnable rotten rubbish break that off. came out of hell. Break it off. Break off thy sins. Break off junior bishops and Go junior ahead, elders and all of these lies. Go ahead. Break it off. Break off thy sins. Bring it. Glory to God to an end. That's right. Until the Bible says cease. To do evil. That's right. And learn to do well. Break off thy sins. Break off your sins. By righteousness. By doing right. And thine iniquities. And your iniquities. By showing mercy to by the poor. By showing mercy to who? To the poor. All right, you rich fellas out there. That's right. You rich women out there. Rich. They increase the tax. Notice, taxes are always increased on those that cannot afford it. That's right. Am I right? That's right. Taxes are always, and you know who's increasing these taxes? The rich. The rich. They give themselves a raise and then tax the poor. That's right. Barely making it, barely surviving, barely have to work two and three jobs to take care of their house and still can't barely make it. That's right. Why you rotten and no good Republicans. <laughs> and you, that's why one group is called an elephant and both is called a donkey because both of them act like beasts. That's right. The Democrats and the Republicans, you act like beasts. Amen.